Let me inform you something. Do you know behind every successful business, behind every successful person, behind every successful talented artist or politician or footballer or um, name them, any success in this world, there is a spirit behind. Never be fooled by seeing people so successful, doing very well, and you think there is no spirit behind. There is a spirit behind. Uh, if people do not have God, definitely there is a spirit of wickedness behind. Let me tell you something. There is a level of uh, there is a level of money that uh, you get in this world, and definitely they will come for you. And when I talk about they will come for you. I'm talking about the people who run the world. Those are the rulers and powers and principalities of this world. They're going to come for you and they want you to join their camp. But if you're going to refuse, then they'll take down your business. They take down your talent. They confuse everything about you. They despoil your reputation. That is for the people who are not saved. But for the people who are saved, when they come for you, when they start pushing things to try and manipulate you so that you can go in the way of Balaam, in the way of Satan, in the way of uh, wanting to, you know, get money through fishy ways, God is going to stand with you and is going to tell you, okay, because we have the spirit of discernment. God tells you, no, this is not the way to go. And of course, someone who is already saved and who is saved by God, the Bible says that, it is God who gives us power to make wealth. It is God who gives us power. And he shall protect us from the devourer. He is going to protect us and give us what is sufficient for us. But also remember something else. God is not after us having too much wealth in this world. Remember God tells us that he wants us to have uh, uh, riches. Uh, you know, spiritual riches, not carnal riches. God is not interested with how many Range Rovers you have, how many buildings you have, and how many things you have. No, that is not the kind of wealth that God is giving you. And uh, <clears throat> I'm not saying this to mean that all believers should be broke. No, that is not the thing. But what I'm trying to tell you is that if you think that you are coming to God, you're getting saved so that you can be rich. Or you're thinking that the people that you're seeing are rich and they are, they are out there speaking and say, Oh, look at me. I have this. Just look at the fruits. Look at the fruits. The Bible says you shall know them by their fruits. It doesn't matter if someone is a pastor, is a big guy in the church. Look at their fruits. How are their fruits? Do they love each other? Do they love other people? Do they do good? Do they do according to what God has said in his word? Because if somebody has no love, love is a fulfillment of the law. So if you don't have love in yourself, if you don't care about others, if you don't do good, if you're not walking in the ways of God, then there's something else that you're doing. There's a spirit behind every success. It doesn't matter is in the church. It doesn't matter is in where or where. I was just listening to some of the testimonies that I, we listen to at uh, Life is Spiritual dot uh, org maybe you can also check on the uh, on their youtube e erica mukisa and bamboo they always talk about these things and they bring so many people talking about uh, different people who have testimonies of what really happened here and there and they say most of these people they say that um they saw in the dark world so many people even who are pastors bishops Prophets, people who are really respected in society, presidents, leaders, musicians, all these musicians, most of them you see, eh? that is the reason they cannot sing anything which is viable. Have you noticed that most of the musicians today, have they, they have become bloggers and YouTubers? Why? Because there's a spirit behind. And that spirit is a spirit of immorality, the spirit of, you know, uh, loving, filthy, look at money. And other many spirits, you know, spirit don't walk just one. They they walk many of them. Even 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 footballers, look at most footballers. They never declare the name of God. Why? Because most of them, the spirit behind, is a dark spirit, and that and that is a spirit which has made them to be there. So do not envy the wicked. The Bible says, do not envy the wicked. Do not even uh, treasure what they have. Do, these people don't sleep. <laughs> the Bible says that there is no sleep for the wicked. 
You think they are sleeping? You think they enjoy their lives? No, they don't. Look at Justin Bieber. The other day he was crying. Out of no, out of the blues, he's crying. Justin Bieber with all those planes, with all those nice houses, nice everything. Why is he weeping and crying? Because they know the kind of agreements they have done, the kind of spirits operating in them. Look at all these people. Look at Da Vinci. Da Vinci, he, 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 he killed himself at his very prime age. At a point whereby he could fill a stadium by himself. Why? 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 What is the problem? Look at most of these people who are really depressed. Look at these guys right now who are uh, all over here trying to make videos uh, online. Uh, pushing this agenda of that a man can become a woman and a woman can become a man. You know that group. The alphabet uh, group. Most of these guys, they are depressed because of the things that they have done with their lives. Because there's a spirit behind. So brothers and sisters, I wanted to tell you that in everything, there's a spirit behind. So don't be fooled by success of people. Walk your lane. Do whatever God has put in you. Hmm? Work out your ministry. Okay? Whatever thing God has put into you, even if it's only two people that you need to preach to. Don't look at big churches and big crowds. Go out in the streets, get a microphone or shout and preach to the people walking on the streets. Maybe that's what God called you for. Just imagine someone like Joseph, the one who uh, married Mary. Okay, the mother of Jesus. His only ministry was to take care of Jesus when he was growing. That's the only ministry this guy had. Not anything else. Did you ever hear of Joseph preaching? No. Look at uh, John the Baptist. His only ministry was to baptize Jesus, to introduce him to the world. That was the only ministry. And God says that there has never been any other greatest, uh, I mean, there has never been any other greater prophet than John. <laughs> Do you get? So it's not about filling stadiums and filling crowds and seeing how great you are and uh, driving the biggest cars and you're fooled by all these people who are doing great. There is a spirit behind. And most of these spirits, especially the spirit which comes with the issues of wealth, oh, it's all about money, 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 filthy looker. Oh, God will bless you. Oh, God is giving you that Toyota TX. That God is giving you that Range Rover. You shall. When do they ever talk about sin and salvation? When do they ever talk about those things? That is where you know the spirit behind them. Wake up.